let's dive into the great hammerhead shark, which was suggested by marine biology, Kelvin Sun, and Alejandro Rojas. If you're new here, I'm all things marine. Go ahead and click that subscribe button if you love the ocean as much as I do, and make sure you smash that notification bell as well so you don't miss out on any of the weird ocean creatures that I talk about. What better way to kick off Shark Week than by talking about one of the most famous sharks, the great hammerhead shark, which is the largest species of the hammerheads and can grow as long as 20 feet and weigh up to a thousand pounds. The odd shape of their heads is actually super beneficial to hunting and finding prey. Their eyes being placed on each end of their hammer allows them to have incredible wide-ranged vision and their heads have tons of ampullae of Lorenzini, which as many of you know, aid them in finding prey, especially for hammerheads. These sharks eat a large range of food, but their favorite food is something most people would not think initially which is stingrays, or any ray for that matter. How do they find these rays if they are buried beneath the sand? Well, with their hammerhead, of course. They move it back and forth over the sand until they pick up an electric signal in their ampullae of Lorenzini. These sharks are able to live in a variety of different marine habitats, such as kelp forests, reefs, open oceans, coasts, and much more. In addition to this, they are found typically worldwide, but unfortunately these sharks are endangered and they are oftentimes caught by trawlers and bycatch and are of course at risk by the shark fin trade. These sharks are known to be cannibalistic as well and will eat smaller hammerhead sharks. Fun fact, it is also believed that these sharks are immune to stingray and catfish venom as well since they have been found with these barbs lodged in them. I hope you all enjoyed this first video of Shark Week and stay tuned for more shark videos this week. Thank you guys for watching All Things Marine.